Hello. Alright, First Chronicles chapter 11. And we have David. King David. And he's taking back Jerusalem. He's taking back the entire nation of Israel. Starting with the city of David. And the city of David, they are fighting the Jebusites. And David looks at the Jebusites and the city he controls, they control, sorry. And he says to his captains, Whoever gets rid of the Jebusites will be the first of my chiefs. So naturally, everybody goes, Yay, that will be me! And they go and fight. No surprise there. They succeed. This is because David has yet to sin against the Lord drastically. <clears throat> but the part of this chapter that I found to be very interesting as a story was actually... Where is that? Verse 15 to 20. Well, 19. And David is in a cave near the city garrison. So, small base, essentially, of Bethlehem. I bet that rings a bell to many people. But David looks at there and goes, I want the water from Bethlehem. I want to drink from that well. Who will get me that water? And so three of his soldiers, it's a garrison. They're going into the city for the sole purpose of getting water from a well. I mean, that's what they were after. Well, they were after destroying everybody, the garrison, but officially, at least, the purpose was to get King David water from a well. So they go in, and they have a huge fight. Doesn't go through all the details. But it says that they went through, broke through the Philistines, got the water, and then broke back out. And presented King David with the water from the well. Now, I've been thinking about this. What would my reaction be? My friends, or my chief employees, have done an amazing thing. And they present it to me. Now, my first reaction, you know, if I get presented with a box of chocolate, I might say, oh, that's so sweet. And I'll take one out and at least smell it or taste it, even though I'm trying to lose weight. Or if it's really good chocolate... I'll eat in peace. But even if it's not really good chocolate, I'll look at it, I'll taste it, I'll take a nibble, and I'll offer it and share it with my family. What does David do? He takes this cup of water. He raises it up and dumps it out, saying, I cannot drink it. This is too holy of a water. Not holy. He says, shall I drink of the blood that was jeopardized? No. And I'm not sure how I feel about that. It's obvious he valued it, but valued it to the point that he wouldn't partake of it is a strange thing for me to experience. And as far as we can tell, they're like, yeah, thank you. That, that's really valuing me. I appreciate your forethought and your taking it so special that you value my blood. I'm not being sarcastic, but I can't seem to say it without being sarcastic. Have you ever had something like that? Where what you thought the proper way to accept a gift is not what they did, yet they were trying to be proper about it?